Okay, let's make some hydrogen. Uh, so we know this is water, this is plain water. Uh, H2O, hydrogen and oxygen. The molecules have hydrogen and oxygen. We're going to separate them into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. Okay, so here's what we need. Water. Now I'm going to take this cup and I'm going to take two of these metal thumbtacks. They want to be metal on both sides. And I'm just going to poke one in. There, it popped it through. And I'm going to take the other one and put it near it, but not touching. That should be good enough. See, it's not touching right there. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is take my 9 volt battery. If I put it right there, then I'm connecting it to these two uh, tacks inside, and we're going to electro, uh, do electrolysis on the water. So I'm going to take the water and pour it in. Uh, now, if normal water doesn't, if it's really pure water, it's not going to conduct electricity. And notice, look, it's not even leaking. See, because the thumbtacks is poked right through. Uh, so you can add something in there to make it a better conductor. Uh, here's just normal table salt. That works well. Uh, baking soda, that works really well too. So I'll just take put some baking soda in there, which works a little bit better. Okay, so now I have baking soda, and now I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna hold it up here so you can see it. Let's look. Okay, watch the two things. And, you can see the bubbles coming off, right? Both of them have bubbles. One of them is hydrogen and one is oxygen. Uh, the one connected to the negative lead of the battery is going to be your hydrogen. So you could then take, you see the bubbles up on the top, you could collect those uh, into a bottle and then you'd have hydrogen. You could collect the oxygen too, but there's already oxygen in the air. So let's see. So you can see it's really going well now. That's pretty cool. So you're just making, you're taking this nine volt battery, you're electro, uh, using electrolysis on the water, separating the water into hydrogen oxygen and that's it you got yourself some gases